Oh yeah, yeah, I've done it again. This is another vacuum tube Tesla coil. Just felt I had to make another one. What's different with this one, firstly, over my previous one that's in other videos, is the valve I'm using. The previous one, this was the tube, uh, which is uh, basically a, a 350 watt rated vacuum tube. Uh, and uh, again, has the graphite anode and a four kilo volt anode voltage. Uh, the heaters are run at 5 volts. Uh, quite a nice little device. It's, it worked quite well in my other uh, Tesla coil but uh, I was so impressed with the size of the Russian spec GU81 uh, that I felt it was obviously worth. This is a kind of quite a common used tube on valve Tesla coils. Uh, again a graphite anode uh, but a much larger valve and physically if you see the two side by side there's a there's a huge difference and yet the wattage for this is rating is 450 watts with a slightly lower anode voltage of 3 kilo volts and uh, yet the, the sizes are massively different so generally um, in, in Tesla coils the the vacuum tubes are kind of well abused, so the, the larger it is, the, the better. The other nice thing about this setup was, as in my previous one, I actually wanted the, the tube orientated uh, in, like this, lying horizontally, um, but this doesn't isn't designed to operate in that position because the heater can sag, and if you look at an x-ray you'll actually see there's a chance the heater would touch the grid in this arrangement. These particular tubes, the heater cathodes, are spring-loaded in tension so that uh, uh, they could be orientated slightly differently, although I noticed some specs saying it should also burn this way. But it's working okay in this position, in this setup. Okay, let's have a look at the construction so far. As I say, this is kind of in progress, but it's uh, not doing too badly as it is. So we can dismantle it and have a, a look at the construction. Again, I'm trying to make it fairly modular because you quite often are trying to adjust bits and pieces. So that's the primary coil. And okay, we'll start underneath. Uh, in this setup, we have a low voltage supply here and a little staccato circuit built in here. Uh, there's also a fan to force air over the uh, the vacuum tube itself and you can just see the diodes there from the, the high voltage side. Okay, I'll turn it over. It's based around a microwave oven transformer as most of these ones are. This is the, the, the oven transformer. It's one of the larger size ones. The reason it is black is I actually dismantled it and added a few more turns to it. I only raised the voltage up a couple of hundred volts. So it's not a big difference, uh, but it was just a bit of an experiment. So that's why it was painted. I uh, had to re-weld the, the, form, the formers back together again. A uh, few more capacitors in the, uh, the, the rectifier, the doubler stage. Okay, one thing I'll mention, there's a lack of big transformer for the, the heater supply. Uh, basically I'm using a downlighter, halogen downlighter, uh, switch mode supply uh, here which is quite small uh, but it's capable of delivering 150 watts and the, the valve heater is basically just over 12 volts at 11 amps so uh, easily covers the, the wattage and it's just ever so slightly under voltage it seems to work okay and obviously takes a, a lot less space than a, than a, a normal linear style transformer the other thing, the sockets are available for these but they're quite expensive. Uh, you can make up something like I have done here. These are literally held in by just fuse terminals so you can unplug and just push on the connectors for that lets you change the valve over if required without actually having to desolder anything. I've got the same uh, uh, capacitor as used in the other coil. Uh, this is just the grid coil here at the moment and these bits and pieces just can plug back in once these are put in place. Ok, 
here now I have a switch on that's the low voltage circuit I've got the high voltage circuit out just now I've also put in a small meter here to measure the voltage uh, and also um, backlit to give me an indication that there's power available and the heaters as you see are running off the halogen uh, inverter supply quite happily Ok I'm still running the secondary on uh, Variac here just for testing but it will run at full line voltage uh, and quite happily for extended periods And that's with just one uh, microwave oven transformer. Uh, you can do a lot better with uh, high voltages on the anode. Uh, if you want to check out, I'll put a link in the description below to Tesla the Destructions, where he uses a double MOT transformer arrangement to get spectacular results with the same tube. Okay, thanks for watching.